in the dead of summer and you're wearing all your leathers, it could get extremely hot out here and really dangerous because you can overheat and pass out and it can set you up for a real effed up day. But I'm going to tell you guys, my tried and true way of staying cool out here in the summer. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Yeah, baby, got that supermoto out here. I tell you guys, right now, it's probably like 85 degrees right now. Um, it's pretty, pretty hot outside here. Um, but it, it doesn't bother me, man, because I stay cool out here. I'm going to tell you guys that the, the number one way I stay cool out here... We'll get you a CE Armor jacket right here, guys. I've had this for 10 years, guys. I bought this in 2012. And I've been rocking this every summer since. I have rode in leathers in, in the summer sometimes, and I tell you, it is hot. You be burning up, man. And I tell you, you can get so hot that you get overheated. I, it's, it's not good to pass out on your motorcycle, of course. I have links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of my video. Um, just to let you know. Also, shorty gloves. I'm telling you, these React shorty gloves I have that are perforated, uh, the shorty gloves will help flow air up your, your sleeve and your hands. So these keep you cool. I have a link to these as well. I've um, been rocking these. And every time they come out with new ones, I get the new ones. And these are awesome. Uh, also, with pants. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys don't wear motorcycle pants. You, you'll, you'll wear just some jeans or something. Honestly, wearing jeans is probably hotter than wearing these pants I have, guys. These are Sadichi textile pants. And it has a flap that opens up here, as you can see here, that's perforated. And on both of them, and it flows air all throughout your legs. It feels good, man. Better than wearing jeans. Jeans, you burn up, man. Um, and you don't want to be wearing shorts, obviously. Because you go down, guys, it's like a belt sander here. You know what I'm saying? It'll set you up for a real after day. Now have to take skin off your butt to put on your, your legs. It's not a pretty look. <laughs> Textile pants keeps you cool. That's, I, I rock that every summer. These ones. Um, I've had different textile pants over the years um, but these Sadichi ones are, are awesome and also uh, you definitely want to be rocking a hydration pack see right here guys I can drink water on the on the go anytime I want to in my backpack I have a link to it of course all like all my other stuff in the description and comment section of the video but man it's awesome to be able to just be riding put you know while you're riding you can just put this in your mouth real quick sip some water you're good keep you hydrated uh, very important to stay hydrated out here man and uh oh man i tell you this ce armor jacket just flows so much air i know some of you guys ask me cycle cruiser do you wear the seat do you wear the airbag vest over the ce armor jacket if you can't see well you need to put your glasses on because i got it on right now my see i never leave home without this airbag vest guys and the airbag vest does not make you hot because it's loose enough, which you don't want it super tight because you need room when it expands. Uh, so when the biker flies off, the vest inflates, protecting the biker's body. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It saved me from having a broken neck. And it flows air even in this CE armor jacket here. This is as close as you can get to not wearing anything at all with this CE armor jacket because it's like mesh here. And it's got all the CE armor here on the shoulders. As you can see, chest protector, back protector. I mean, you can't beat it for the price, man. It's cheap. Yeah, baby. We out here. <laughs> on my supermoto acting the fool out here. But anyway, as far as boots, I forgot my boots. CD, I got the CD perforated boots. I've been rocking CD boots since I started riding the motorcycle, guys. I would never ride with anything other than CD boots. They make some, some of the most best high quality or they're Italian boots. So you know you get Italian boots, you know you're gonna get a solid product, man. And uh, these these boots flow great air. I actually rock these in the wintertime too, believe it or not. I put thick socks on. The socks I wear are clean, are the Clem vented socks with these boots. So it flows all kinds of air, man. And this helmet, of course, this uh, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, it comes with this tinted shield. I mean, you get even though this is not a cheap helmet, and you're get you pay for what you get, man. And this comes with 
an auto tint shield. You know what I'm saying? Which they call a tr the technical term is a transition shield. Uh, where, you know, when it's really sunny, it gets dark. And when the sun goes down, it gets dark, it gets clear. So you don't have to keep changing shields. And this is a lightweight helmet. This flows great air, I tell you. So it keeps you cool in the summer, man. You open the top vent, it flows air all through. Good. The cheap helmets don't flow air as, air as good, man. And they can fog up sometimes and everything else, man. So that's why I, this is the best helmet that I've ever owned. I've had a lot of helmets over the years, man, I'll tell you. And this is the best helmet. It's easy to put on your head and take off. It flows great air, it never fogs up, even when I'm sitting and stand at a standstill at a light talking. Uh, the, the transition shield, it's just an awesome helmet. It looks awesome. Um, you can't beat it, man. And uh, I tell you, I love this gear. That's why I always rep it. Yo, you guys always ask, ask me sometimes in the comments, where'd you get this, where'd you get That's why I put the links in the description and comment section of this video. That dude needs to wear some gear, man. Um, I'm telling you guys, don't be tempted like a lot of fools out here to to be up to want to ride with no gear to keep you cool out here. That's the worst thing you can do, man. You know, because if you go down, guys, oh boy, it's going to be a sad sight. The sad part is, is that the motorcycle will get the blame and they'll say how dangerous motorcycles are. <laughs> and, uh, and that's sad. That's really sad, man. Um... And I tell you, one thing's really cool about a supermoto is that you know what? I don't feel like going down the street, so I'm gonna take an exit here, go go ride here. <laughs> oh man, that lady was here. I was like, <laughs> I hope she don't report me, man. But by the time she calls him, I'll be gone, Jack. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's why supermoto life it rules, man. I'm telling you. This bike is, is cheap to insure, easy to fix yourself. They're durable, you can beat on them, anything you want to do with them, man. Uh, they're t torquey, lightweight. Oh my God, I love Supermotos, guys. I love them. Highly recommend the Supermoto, man, but I highly recommend my gear here to keep you cool out here on the streets on these hot summer days, boy, so you can ride all day in coolness and get your thirst quenched with this hydration pack. All kinds of air flowing, busting wheelies out here, flying around corners, having a good time out here, boy. Woo! We out here! Yeah! I'm telling you, baby. Yeah! But anyways, but make sure you hit the thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Make sure to subscribe to my All the One Motorcycle channel. I post videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bugout Motorcycle.